meanwhile, welcome back to another video here from the Unplug e Unplugged TV. Welcome to another video here on Unplugged TV, sunny, hot Australia. Well, it's cloudy today. I'm doing a bit of a challenge with the test lander at the moment. Well, I'm starting today. So this is just an idea. Um, I want to try to charge the car from my off-grid system only. So don't use any grid power at all. I have done some testing more or less the last couple of weeks. If you don't know, I have built my own off-grid system here with lithium iron phosphate batteries, solar, charge controllers, inverters, everything here in the off-grid garage. There is another YouTube channel. Link is down below if you are interested in these kind of things. And well, let me show you quickly here before we have to go. The battery here in the garage is at 32% only. And I could charge the car yesterday to about 60, 61, 62% state of charge. Gives me around 200 something kilometer, which should be totally fine, right? And I'll show you quickly. And this is a good day here in the off-grid garage when we had 5.85 kilowatt hours. Now there is one. Yeah, 5.99 kilowatt hours and 1.45 kilowatt max from solar coming. So around six kilowatt hours if we have a very sunny day. So there we go, this is our battery status. Uh, if we have a look here at the scale. So now we are actually below 60%. This would be 60%. So we should be at around 57, 58% or something. It'll be tough. 203 kilometers it gives me. The heater is on. Could feel the warm air coming in here. It's sitting on 25.5 because we had like 40 degrees last week. And this was my air condition setting, which was nice and cool. But now we've got only 25 outside, so it has started heating a little bit. Well, as you know, I'm using about 30 kilometers per day just for my pure commute. This is around four kilowatt hours of energy the car claims it uses. But we all know this is only what Tesla tells you. This is not the real consumption the car actually takes from the grid. So I would expect this is around at least five kilowatt hours and the solar system produces only six kilowatt hours a day under optimal conditions so far since I tested it. Uh, it doesn't look like we've got any any optimal conditions today. It's cloudy. There's actually no sun at all. The sun is somewhere over there. This will be a disaster. This won't work. And then we have to supply the garage as well with power. So it's not only the car which is connected to the battery, it's the whole garage. The garage is totally off-grid already. Um, I may not have posted the video on the other channel, so if you watch it here first, shh, don't tell anyone. So there's the irrigation pump, there is all the lighting in the garage and outside. There's my workbench and other supplies and well, I use some power in the garage as well, of course. It's not only the car. The car is the main load for the inverter and battery, but there's more. And the battery is down to 30, 32% this morning. So I'm not expecting to get much sunlight today. And to make it even worse, I have a customer appointment later this afternoon as well, which brings me even further away from home. This is another, another 15, 20 kilometers or so, one direction from work to the customer. So it'll be tight. The good thing is, I need to overtake this car here. The good thing is the whole challenge only needs to last until Thursday night, Thursday evening, because I've got an RDR, I've got a day off on Friday. So I'm, don't need the car, I don't need the car on Friday. 
so only four days. Today is Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. So I need to recharge the car Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Three times recharging, it'll be interesting. That's a challenge, right? That's a challenge. You haven't seen here on the internet yet. Unplugged TV Australia, always on top of the news. So I have now arrived at work. Uh, the car claims two kilowatt hours used and the efficiency is 119 watt hours per kilometer. Car is super efficient, so is the driver. You know my commute, highway, overpass, a little bit of town driving here, but 119 is very good. Well, we had optimal temperatures, 25 outside, so I didn't need the aircon or something. And um, well, the battery is down to um, 190 kilometers now. So we have used around 12 kilometers only for travel actually 15 kilometers. All right, uh, let's do some work at work and then we see us again after work for the commute or for the for the drive to the customer and then back home. And then we will see how far we are actually down and how far has the battery at home recharged. How much energy can we suck from this battery at home? Okay, so it's five o'clock. We are back in the car and uh, we are down to 180, 186 kilometers now. Uh, well, it has lost about five, six kilometers since this morning, just for a century. I didn't have the aircon on while watching a video during my lunch break and everything. So this is pure century, the vampire drain, so to speak. It's another five, six kilometers gone every day, but it's good to be safe with the cameras and everything. So, okay, here's the deal now. We've got good news and bad news. The bad news is, or we'll start with a bad one. <laughs> there was no sunshine at all today. So I guess we will have less than one kilowatt hour charged into the battery at home. It's just a 1.2 kilowatt uh, solar system on the roof. So it doesn't produce much when it's that cloudy. The good news is I don't have a customer appointment this afternoon. It has been canceled or delayed until further this week. So we will go home straight away and then see how much we can recharge into the car. I leave the set limit as it is. I don't touch this. 60% is fine. And let's see if we can actually recharge to the position. I doubt we will have that much energy today to um, recharge four kilowatt hours or five or six even into the car. Because the battery at home was at 30% this morning already and you still use a bit of power during the day when the irrigation pump is running and all this kind of stuff. So it's a bad start in the week. Not good. 116. But now we are entering the highway. Thankfully there is a truck behind us so I can accelerate very slowly and smooth. So we are not getting any peaks here while accelerating. Great. Yeah, it feels a little bit like in the good old times with an Outlander PHEV when we were trying to drive as efficient as possible, saving every little bit of energy. Well, I haven't done this for a while, but it looks like this week we are back to the PHEV week. So after 10 minutes of driving, we are leaving the highway here and we are back to 119. Even I have let the car drive in autopilot on the highway uh, with 100 kilometers per hour, strict. We are down to 118 watt hours per kilometer. This car is so efficient. If you are very soft with your gas pedal, with your acceleration pedal, the car rewards you. It's unbelievable. It is, I'm accelerating now, so it goes up a little bit, but it's unbelievable how efficient this car is. Insane. Still three kilowatt hours used and we're almost home. That would be amazing. Well, we made it home. Insane 118 for 30.5 kilometers driven to work and back home. I'm excited. Okay, let's have a look at the battery. How much energy we can actually charge into the car without losing any power in Andy's garage? That's the next question. Ah. 
I was just wondering. The UMC is not plugged in, of course. This is where our solar battery goes into. Okay, so we have recharged 11% into the battery today. And let's have a look at the history. Oh my God, 2.2 kilowatt hours. Yeah, 2.2 kilowatt hours in 11 hours and 36 minutes so far. There's a little bit more coming, but you know, we are charging with 14 watts. So that is not enough. Okay, so if we recharge the full four, four kilowatt hours to the car, we would be two kilowatt hours lower than we were before. So we probably cannot fully recharge the car to 60% again. I, um, I, need to, I need to see if we need the irrigation pump as well. We are below 50% set of charge here in the battery. So it'll be tight. Yeah, well, and if you haven't seen my other channel yet, this is the setup so far, solar charge controller, this is the inverter, and down here is the battery in this box. Yeah, just check out the other channel, you know? Just check it out and subscribe and like and share. Okay, so we are now at 43% and I'm plugging in the car now. I've got the extension cord here. UMC becomes live. And the car wakes up. Contactor, wait for it. There we go. And it starts charging straight away. Okay, this is on the 8 amp setting now. It would take 5 hours and 50 minutes. Oh, that's the 5 amp setting only. Hang on. This is for my testing yesterday. We can actually use the full 8 amps and then 3 hours and 35 minutes. Yeah, I want probably cannot cannot utilize that fully i'm not going to recharge the car to the same state of charge as this morning so we will have a little bit of loss already a little bit of drag on the first day but that's just what it is that's just the challenge 2100 watts we have 40 amps from the battery here so if you haven't seen the other channel yet the battery has a capacity of about 14 kilowatt hours we are at 40%, so we will have about six, seven kilowatt hours in there. If I take another three kilowatt hours out, we have recharged about 75, 80% to what we have used today. And then I leave the battery alone here because we may need some more power tomorrow. I'm not sure what the weather will be tomorrow. Uh, if we get sunshine, we are good. If we have the same weather again as today, not so good. All right, here we go three and a half hours and this is like 10 yeah 11 kilometers per hour charging speed eight of eight amps that's fine i can potentially charge the car higher on a higher speed um, but i've got some technical challenges not problems challenges at the moment here with the battery so i'm just using this 2.1 kilowatts that's fine the inverter can do three kilowatts in the future we will charge the car far higher with a higher speed than now but um yeah let's go with a 2.1 kilowatt for now and see how we go all right i'll be back in about one and a half two hours so while we are waiting for the car to charge look at this crazy sky at sunset isn't that amazing Tell you what, nobody does better sunsets than the Australians. It is just insane. We've got this almost every evening here, and it's it's always I'm really standing here every single day and looking in the sky and say, wow. That is so cool. all right we have now recharged to 183 kilometers and the battery is down to 30 percent now um i probably give it until 25 so we'll get another five six kilometers or so or maybe 190 and then i'll call it that's it i'm not going lower 
We need this energy for the garage here. The whole the whole garage, I haven't told you that, the whole garage is only running from these batteries. If they are empty, everything turns off. The light turns off, my workbench equipment here turns off. Everything will turn off. The outside lightning, that's it. The garage is already totally off grid. I have disconnected it from the distribution box outside of the garage. It's solely running from this inverter and the batteries. So, okay, let's give it another 20 minutes. And then I think we are down to 25% and have maybe reached 190. So we are now at 185 kilometers range. It would charge another two and a half hours actually to get us back to the 60% or 62 it is sitting on. Uh, the battery is down to 24. Well, as I said, we have used power here in the, in the garage. So it's not just the car charging. It's, I've got some other loads in here as well. I guess I stopped charging now for today, 185. And we started with 200 and it says it up here. So we are a little bit down. I just hope we've got more sunshine so the battery recharges and then we can recharge the car tomorrow afternoon when I come home. All right, guys. Um, so far this video part one for today. So we will see us again tomorrow morning for the next part of this video. And we are just across the 186. Stop charging. All right, that's it for today. See you tomorrow, stay charged. Hopefully better than I do. All right, catch you in the next one. See you tomorrow, bye bye.